just his smile, his aura, his everything was just wonderful. I just wish that his life wasn't cut short the way it was. They killed him at his house. All he wanted to do was go home. And when they got to him, that's where he was, home, sitting in his car. They broke the window, came and tased him. They had to know that he was dying. You can't kill somebody with your back hands and not know. They're taking their last breath. But they kicked him for the last time. They killed my son. What happened to Anton Black? What happened to any black child or adult? Anton died because of the stress of 43 blunt trauma wounds he sustained from his altercation with police officers. The autopsy mischaracterized Anton's death as accidental. There was nothing accidental about it. There still remains others who need to be held accountable for this tragedy including the state of Maryland and its medical examiners, David Fowler and Russell Alexander. We're also going to have to work with the communities to start the reconciliation process and the process for healing and how do we move forward as a community. Community ends in the word unity. That's not by design or by, uh, it's by intention. In order for a community to exist, it has to have unity in it. I just hope that me and my family just get all the justice that we need to to, to heal, and what hurts me the most, he never got to meet his daughter. No charges, they killed him. Not even a misdemeanor charge. You do a dog like they did my son, somebody in charge.